A fun fact about myself is that the people who know me, they know me that when I talk, I tend to tap my foot. I grew up playing the violin. You've got to keep track of your beat. As a result, I still have that habit and I keep track or I keep my conversation to a beat. Skills in data science and AI careers. Describe an ideal team member or ideal team. What really matters is enthusiasm and, a, and an ability to manage your own time well. If you're good on the computer and you're excited to do the work and you're able to manage the work that you're given, then you are the perfect teammate. What top three skills are needed in your role? The number one, the most key skill is to be able to explain your outcomes. So the storytelling part of data science. Being able to communicate. You need to be able to express your ideas, but even more importantly, you need to be able to listen and really understand what they're meaning so that you can try and contribute to, to the work they're doing. The second one is machine learning. So you want to be able to implement machine learning or stats models on the data sets. To be incredibly open-minded and try and see issues from lots of different perspectives because I sit at the intersection between policy people who have never ever worked with data and data scientists who have no comprehension how policy works and being able to hold all of those truths and different ways of doing things in different languages in the same space to find that beautiful sweet spot that actually lets you solve the problem. In terms of the third skill then, I'd say troubleshooting. Constantly in your job as a data scientist, you're going to come up with issues or problems where things don't work. And you need to have a way of being systematic and working out why they aren't working and coming up with solutions. How do you upskill yourself or your team? When you're working on a, on a project in data science, the really common thing is to Google, learn something about learn something new and come back and implement that on this project. So that's one type of upskilling where you look at, let's say, videos or read some content to understand some material and come back and implement that. Participating in data competitions, such as a Kaggle Datathon or data competition, it can also include personal projects. They can be a really great way to um, gain new skills Every Friday, we run sort of a, a crash course session where one of us will come and bring either a new concept or a new uh, sort of Python package, so a new programming tool, and they'll come and teach it to everyone. I believe the best way to upskill is to practice. I would try and take maybe not the most recent paper, but a 2018 paper and try and turn it into code, which is a lot of what you will be doing when you're looking at working at DSTL. What skills do you use that you didn't expect you'd need? I think one of the more unexpected skills that you might end up using as a data scientist is creativity. Often we think of science and sort of technology as having a particular solution that if we work out systematically, we'll get to the end goal and we'll solve the problem. But it's not always that clear. What skills do you use every day? An important skill that I use pretty much every day was knowing when to ask questions and what questions to ask. Especially when you're early in your career, you won't know everything and you'll definitely need a lot of help. I think it's very important to be able to distinguish when you can just go and research and see if you can find the answers for yourself or when you need to talk to either a mentor or your line manager and ask them for help. How can a young person or undergraduate build their skill set now to be prepared for the world of work? I would recommend even a part-time job during university because there you learn teamwork skills, communication skills, and you really learn how to interact with different people. So something to focus on maybe is broadening those transferable skills, um, working with lots of different people, learning how to communicate at different levels, um, and throwing yourself into anything with confidence.